Here's a little trick for creating an alternate version if you want to try new ideas with the same instruments. So this happens all the time, like what you did, but you wonder, well, what if the bass came in earlier? What if it was a different series of chords? Or what if this drum didn't happen there? What if it was a different loop? So you could create a whole new set of instruments, sort of doubling what you've done here, and then have mutes on some of them and mutes on others. There's an easier way to do this. It involves spot mode. We're going to keep these same instruments and let them play what they're playing here and not be muted. And I want to import the video again. So file, import, video. Now, why would I just import the same movie? Well, let me show you. I'm going to open it. Pro Tools warns me that importing this new movie will remove the previous movie from the session. Little does it know it's the same movie. And I'll say OK. And then I get a window to tell me where I want to import it to. Last time we chose a session start. That's going to be what you choose almost all the time. But if you choose spot, and we already know that there's no audio in this file, so let's not go through that again. I'll say OK, and I get the spot window. Even though I'm not in spot mode, I get the spot window that says, where do you want to put this movie? So if I click in this field and I type 01, then say OK. I'm actually going to hit tab because I want to show you something here. I'm going to hit tab. And it changed 01 to 5929 because of drop frame. That's close enough. I'll take it one frame off. Now the movie's going to show up there. And if I start at bar one, the movie isn't playing. I have to jump way back here to the one minute mark to get this to play right. The gotcha here is if you change the tempo at the beginning, in other words, if I just jump in and change a new tempo and change all this tempo, it's going to change all these notes and how they relate to the original movie. So don't do that. If you need a new tempo at this new iteration, change it where the new movie starts, at the one hour mark. Might be smart to actually set this movie to happen at some bar and beat event. Only thing missing back here is my markers, and those are fairly easy to add, just as we did the first time. This would also be a system for if you want to write music that happens before the first frame of picture. So let's say the director gave you a scene, and you feel like there really ought to be about 20 seconds of music before this to lead into something, or maybe just a few seconds. Then you could start the movie after the music actually starts. Now, if your goal is to try a completely new set of instruments and not keep any of this at all, then that's probably an argument for doing a save as. Then you'd have two completely different sessions with different sounds and whatever. But if your goal is just to try kind of an edit of this part, you know, take the bass part, bring it back here, change its velocities, that sort of thing, then building an alternative version works pretty well. We'll explore this again when we talk about mixing, because I know a lot of engineers that like to do mix A up here, mix B back here, mix C further down the line, and then it's all right there together. You're not opening separate sessions. You can just jump to a new playhead location and fire up the new mix. So that's how to use spot mode to do an alternative version in the same timeline.